everyone, my name is Kadar, and I'm going to teach you how to solve a problem with code. And it's called Storybot, my invention. It's a board game that teaches our blind friends how to, clue, how to code. Hi, I'm Gaylord, and I am seven years old. I loved to play video games when I was five, but my Wii broke when I was five, and I was really sad. But that was only what my mommy said. She said, but this is not the end. You can make your own video games. So I learned to code my own games. So I became really good at code. And so I teach it at five different maker fairs. And you know how teachers have superpowers? And each time I teach, I also learn. And also, because of that, I became Super Code Man. So, at my very first Maker Fair in Washington, D.C., a man called Mr. Patrick came and said, What you're doing is awesome. You're teaching our friends who can see how to code, who can use a computer. But what about our blind friends? You can teach them how to code. And I said, I accept the challenge. Bring it on. So, I have a program called Scratch, and it's made by MIT. I tried to solve the problem with it, but the problem with Scratch is that it's on the computer, so our blind friends can't see it. Scratch didn't work. Next, I created a puzzle book called Cody Locks and the Three Bears. So basically, you know the story of Goldilocks. She gets lost in the forest and everything, like an adventure happens. So... We put that in our puzzle book called Cody Locks and the Three Bears. And then we started to code Goldilocks name, new name. It's Cody Locks because it teaches kids how to code. So this is how it works. Well, there are blanks and you have to fill in the missing code pieces. We thought it would, would work great for our blind friends. But it worked great for our friends who can see, but it was 2D, so our blind friends could not feel the correct pieces. And so they were putting wrong pieces in wrong places. I'm Super Code Man, so I had a Super Code idea. How about a 3D board game to teach code? Here's what 3D means. You see... 3D doesn't only mean our blind friends can feel it, but they can actually feel what shapes and items they are. For example, that touch. We 3D printed something that looks like a hand because you use your hand to touch. I'll tell you a little story. It's called Glue versus Magnet. So basically, it's where... I was thinking one day in my 3D board game, hey, the characters keep falling off. How can I fix that? So I had to fix the problem that the characters kept falling off of the board. So what I thought about was, oh, what about glue? That sticks, but there's a problem with glue, guys. Glue will stick, but not come off when you want it to. So I had to find something that would stick and come off when you want it to. So then I thought about magnets. I thought, oh, I used to stick magnets on the fridge. Why should they not stick on the board? And that is when I solved the problem. Glue versus magnets. They stick perfectly, the characters. So I'll tell you a story of how I made my board. So basically, first I felt a regular board, and I saw, oh my god, I can see it, but my blind friends cannot feel it. So, what I did was I felt a cushion. I closed my eyes and felt a cushion, and I saw, oh, I can feel it without, without looking at it. And so my blind friends can also do it. And I realized, okay, so I have to put 
3D objects into my game. So I put foam sticker on a stainless steel board and it sticked. And when I did that, I realized, oh, I don't only need to make that for a board, but I can also 3D print characters and code blocks. So I made coding a little more simpler by making my video channels of code. Number two, I made a puzzle book for code. And number three, my 3D board game. My sweet grandpa helped me cut the board. So my very first blocks were made of foam. Then I went to Mr. Jeff at the Makerspace and he helped me 3D print my code blocks. Then Miss Rhea from the Vision Law Center helped me make a braille coded cheat sheet. And what I mean by braille coded is we made a little thing where our blind friends can feel their blind language so they would realize what blocks are what. I stuck Velcro in the back of each code block. I attached magnets under every single character so my blind friends can feel it without tripling it over. So I tested my board game with my blind friends at the Vision Law Center. They loved it! And also, they made my board game bigger and better. You know what a maker fair is? It's a magical place of inven well, inventions and learning. So I brought my inventions to five of them. They were, they were nice enough to let me talk about my inventions on stage. I had a booth at Five Maker First to teach code. And I thought that the board game would only be liked by our blind friends because we designed it only for them. But then I saw that our friends who can see the board still loved it. All the children loved the fact that the board game was 3D. And also, you know what's really amazing? Even a three-year-old who didn't know how to read did their vi her very first code. So this is how the original of StoryBot looks. And basically what Cody Locks is doing is he's getting from the bear's home and he's following a path to get in the bed. And also, just like in the story, she's taking the little options of too hard, too soft, and just right. So when I was teaching my game, when I had the very first game and I was teaching it, people didn't only learn from me, but they also told me how to make it even better. And here are some examples. So here's a new version of StoryBot. You see, I 3D printed the board and I made new game pieces. And also, my code pieces are painted. I took StoryBot to the Young Inventor Challenge and I won against a lot of cool and smart kid inventors. And I won first place in the Young Inventor Challenge. It was a four foot robot called Mechanoid G15KS. One day I was going to Chicago to get my Mechanoid and I was enjoying hot chocolate and I saw a homeless man, my homeless friend, and he was sitting outside in the cold 
and I thought, oh, that's so sad. Maybe I can teach my homeless friends how to code, and then they'll get a job, and they'll no longer be homeless because they can buy a home. I really, really want to change the world with code. Can you help me? Join me at LittleCoNinja.com. Remember, kids, programming is fun. It is for everyone. Thank you. Remember, you're never too young to do anything. Really, you can do anything at any age. And guess what? My biggest mentors is my mommy and daddy, especially my mommy, because she teaches me a lot of really cool things. Thanks.